Welcome to this new exercise in Alias Teacher TV. So in this exercise I show the classical approach how to model in Alias this design chair from Mies van der Rohe, MR10. Uh, and then in the second uh, step we go to VRED and in VRED we put our avatar on top of this chair and also create some of the materials which are necessary to make it look nice. Let's get started. So I open a new file first. Go to left view. And then from my desktop I drag and drop the sketch. So it's exactly now positioned on the left. But it's way too huge. So I need to scale it down. So I pick the whole sketch, go to left view and then scale it down. So one of the squares is 100 mils. That means 45 centimeters must be four and a half of these. Oh, let's see. Maybe like that somehow. One, two, three, four, and a little bit more. A bit bigger. Go up there. And then transparency would be nice. So I go to Windows, Editors, and then Canvas Layer Editor. And there's a tiny slider. And this slider makes it transparent. And here we go. So we can start to sketch our lines and our arc. So for this I create a new layer for, for sure and I start with an arc, so a circle maybe, guess the center point and scale it up in a way that it fits somehow. Like that. And for sure I can delete half of it, so like this. And probably change the color of this layer a little bit because it's too dark. It's so dark blue. We can't see that. So green is better. So now we have the lines visual. We can add a little command now called spot on mouse. So you can see my mouse what it's doing. And then if I do a line now, I push Control Alt and I go there and I find the end, drag to the end and middle mouse button to this. And then the next line is Control alt again, left mouse button, drag it, and then middle mouse button. And then I go there and I sketch left mouse button the additional lines here to finish this sketch somehow. But you can see the blendings are missing and these blendings are done by blend curves. So I need blend curve, new, and for blend curves we can drag them here to the end and here and they will be connect pretty nice. So I can add another blend curve, just restarting it and put it here and here. And now we're finished. We have a complete line up there. Next step is just to get the width of the whole model. And I pick everything here, all the curves, and copy them with Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and move them. For this it's nice if it's approximately 60 centimeters. So let's measure this one. So I go to locators and then I measure the distance with this one here from here to here. So we got 47 here which is not enough. So I need to have more of this. So let's move pretty much more. But 60 looks somehow weird. I don't think it's 60. Let's say 55. That would be great, I think. Just connect this with a straight line now. Always pressing Ctrl Alt. So here we go. And a nice approach would be just deleting these straight pieces here and here. Then you lose the history from this blend curve, but doesn't matter. And now we need this line a bit shorter to get a nice connection here in the corner. But if we shorten this one, then we have to shorten it on both sides. How to shorten? Use Extend, click on this one and with Shift select on the other one. And now we can shorten it on both sides with the same amount, let's say like that, and connect it again with a blend curve, new blend curve, and connect this one with this one, and of course the other one here. And here, so we have pretty much a nice 
flow up, the, up there. At the bottom we need also a nice flow, approximately the same thing. Connect this one and this one. Then shorten it with extend, shift, and make it a bit shorter. And then pick this curve and shift this one and make both of them a bit shorter and connect them with a new blend curve here and here and new blend curve there and within a few minutes we have the complete curve which defines the frame of this chair so let's create the tube right now so I go to a new layer and the surface layer for this and I go to a command called tubular offset which is hidden a little bit in the palette so you go to full flange and above this you find the tubular offset command I double click it and then you see we have this radius somehow let's say 20 and then I just select my curve and I get immediately a result for half of it in this case which is a big too huge I think so I make it smaller 14 that's that look nice so I do the next one and I select the low ones and I forgot this one so I can go one by one or I can do them all together and I got the frame already done so now we need the leather bands so for that I create a new layer make my canvas invisible and I pick the serves here in the backrest and also hide everything else so I have those two and I need some offset and I need some nice value it's three here but let's check if the correct side is switched on so we can just see that would be inward outward and on the other side yeah it looks good also so I can make an offset then I would pick the new layer and hide everything else so now I have the outer tubes and I go to the first tube and make it half so I use a command called detach so detach is this command I go to the straight line here and just when I do that I can move around my isoparam line and I go to top view and go to the middle center line and hit space and now it's split so once again I go to this side and move the line again to the bottom and if I'm at the correct position I can split it up that's just an approximate position but that's good enough for our exercise I'm sure because leather bands tend to be not perfect so the same thing on the other side do it quickly Let's all right and now I can connect those two with a skin surface so the skin surface is perfect for that because I can do a skin between here and here and I have a little crown here so then I can make a bending like that let's say and it's here at the bottom of course again we need an offset for the leather band but just be careful because here in this area where the banded skin connects with the tube it's not a tangential situation so we have to align it to make sure that when you do an offset that everything fits perfectly so now I do quickly an alignment four times on these four connections with a G1 situation so that means I connect the leather band side two piece with this side of the skin now it's tangent except just switch to the next side same thing again the history is always deleted on this and let's quickly jump to the other side and do the same thing here and accept and the last situation is down there and that's it 
Now with this we can do an offset of the whole situation but let's check if the orientation is right we can see the surface normals by using this one and you can see we have them yellow and blue so that's quite a mismatch so I need everything in blue here on the outside so there we go and then inside yellow outside blue now let's do the offset and I use another command not this one because there's a new uh, offset command too in alias and that would be nice for this because it can create walls so there is an option called create walls and I go there and pick all the surfaces all around the complete leather band and do an offset Woo, that's crazy because the thickness is a huge so I go down to a value which makes some sense so let's say five mils approximately that would be good and then we switch on our shading and you can see the wall is created so that is close now and now we are finished visibility on everything and we can see the leather band now all around our frame I do the second leather band exactly with the same workflow so I pick those two surfs now or tubes hide everything and then I do the exactly the same steps so I speed up now And here we go, we have that second leather band. Now for all the ones who are still on this video after 12 minutes, I show some additional things as kind of add-on. Seating area doesn't end here, of course. It goes a bit around this arc. So how can I do that? So I pick those two, hide everything, do an offset, of course, on side with five mils that's what we had or three mils and here we go hiding the inner one with picking this object and hide unselected so now we have it and then I'm shortening those two surfaces by just using extend go to extend and then we shorten that. That's cruel, isn't it? Visible all to check where we are at the moment. So we have that piece and we have the existing leather band. Now we have to make a nice connection. And, and to do that, the first thing is we have to delete the wall pieces here in the front. So I pick all these sirs because there will be our second part of the leather band. So we don't need a wall there. And it's there, there, sometimes it's in between is another wall, so you need to de delete it here. That's strange somehow, I don't know where it comes from, to be honest. So same thing on this side, so there's a piece of a l wall, I don't know. So we delete that one. And also here, and at the bottom we check if there is anything which doesn't make sense and throw it away and now we have that kind of open leather band and now we need to split our front piece at exactly the same line than we have in this rear area so that's pretty much the same than we had before so we need the detach command for sure go there and then upward and now with control alt I go to this so it's exactly connecting and split it so at the bottom same thing I need detach line so I have to first upside then the control alt jumps there and that's it so I can delete these two surfaces now 
and then I have the position for my skin on this side. So the next side up. We have that. And to be very precise, we need to align again. So I go to a line, of course, a line, edge align, and which is the skin in front, and then the other one, and you see it's connected. It's accepting, and works. So do the bottom skin here, which also is easy accepted. Now the more complicated thing is the tube because this tube is a huge one and inside we have a splitting so be careful I go to this bigger surface the one in the front the tube piece in the front which is long and the one in the back is split it so I go pretty close then I split one and you can see it opens here which is wrong but with shift click I can position it on both and then it fits again and it's correct so that's that's one of the nice tricks. And now same procedure on the other side. Go there. A line command should be active. I go to the boundary with the bigger piece. And then the short one, which comes up. And with shift, I make it longer. So now we have that. And everything looks nice, so we need the offset. Again, so close this align tool, pick the surfaces all around don't forget anything not sure if I got the first one let's see so I do the surface offset with wall we have that that's in the wrong direction looks like that we need a plus five and then it should correct isn't it that's nice a tiny little thing we have to care about is here in between there will be a wall which has to be deleted so if I pick the surfaces here there will be a wall which doesn't make any sense also here because it's in between our two pieces of the leather band so I have to delete that one of course otherwise we get one thing too much and then throw it away. And now with this modeling is completed in Alias. And this concludes the first part of this tutorial, the model. For all of you who are still watching this video, um, I show you some sneak peek of what's coming up in part two and part three. So part two, I will show you how to visualize in VRED. So we can just take the seat export it from Alias to VRED and put some nice materials on it and then maybe even put an avatar on it. But before we can put an avatar on it, we'll have a part three video which helps us to rig an avatar. So this avatar here can be rigged and I can put it into any position I like. So I have rigged it so you can move the arm or move anything else, maybe the head, and maybe some rotation. This avatar put into position and exported also to VRED, and finally we come to a combination of everything, and this will be the final model, which will be in VRED, because we can put the avatar on top of it in a seating position and we can put it in any environment we like. So here we are. And this is coming up, so watch out for part two and part three.